Hi everybody, this is Mike with Michael W. Hall Channel. If you get a chance, uh, subscribe and give me a like or a comment. I'm going to be going over a little bit more about the Level 2 exam coming up this Sunday. Uh, we will do some playback and clapback. Remember, this could be in 3, 4, or 4, 4 time. The examiner will give you a time signature for the clapback. And they'll play a melody two times, then you clap it back. And then for the playback, we have the scales in the key of G major, D minor, and F major. Now, the D minor doesn't have to be harmonic or melodic because it's a natural minor scale because it's the first five notes of the scale. You only have to know the first five notes of the scale. Now, remember, you listen to the melody two times for the clap back before you clap it back. Uh, the examiner will give you the first measure in the time signature. Uh, for the playback, they'll give you the tonic chord, like a G for G major. Then they'll play the melody two times, and you play it back. So sit back and listen. Uh, you may try to hum along with it. Be sure to practice the first five notes of the scales, G major, front and back, or ascending and descending. Try them in different order, too, so like skipping, like thirds, G, B, A, C, B, and then D. So you might want to try skips and leaps. When you play a G to a D like that, that's a perfect fifth. That's in your interval training. So you need to be able to navigate those five notes very well. So it's not an issue. This is not part of your technical test, but you want to be able to play the melody back without worrying about fingers. This is not something that's scrutinized. As you want to hear how or see how you hear the music, playing it back rhythmically correct and playing the right notes. So, but make sure you don't just play. Um, the five note scales back and forth. You want to try different combinations like with the D minor, D, F, G, A, something like that, or start on a different note, but, or like. I started on the second note that time. Now, we are doing this so that we can master the navigation of the scales and therefore play the melody back really well. But the melody will either start on the tonic note, which is the first note of the scale, or it will start on the fifth note of the scale, but not in between. So here's here are some examples um, to practice clap back, then we'll do playback. All right, let's do a three, four measure. One, two, Three, two, three, and again. And then you will clap back. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now let's do some more. This time you practice what I give you. I won't clap it back this time. So here is another three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, four time. One, two, three, four. Another 4-4 four, four time, common time, example. One, two, three, four. Once more.
And now for the playback. The examiner will give you the tonic key, give you the triad one time, and then play the melody two times, and then you play it back. And let's do, I'll give you the key. G major, here is the tonic. Do another similar one. Tonic of G major. Again. One, two, three. Two, three. Now, I'm going to play that melody for you I just played. I want you to see that was on the tonic of G, G major scale. We jumped all the way to the fifth note and went skip to B and back down the scale. So it's only a five note scale, but there are some skips there. And that's the reason you need to master the five note scale. So that's G major. Let's do another G major. Tonic triad. And again. Now, this time, I will do uh, an F major, F major. Tonic, here's the melody. Once more, F major. This time, a playback in D minor. Once more. One more playback in D minor, tonic triad, D minor, I'll give you a hint on this one, it's in 3-4 time, I'll listen very carefully to the first two notes. First two notes, what kind of interval is that? So those are some examples of playback and clapback. More to come in lessons and then the exam on Sunday. So um, now let's do intervals and triads. You need to know the difference between a major and a minor triad. And really listen and try to determine what it is and don't think I'm going to, do, going to do a major and then a minor and alternate every time. So I'll do about five or six examples. Here's number one, major or minor triad. The 
second one. Number three. The fourth one. And then one more. Major or minor triad. Now intervals, so we know there are three intervals you have to identify. Major third, minor third, and perfect fifth. Major third, minor third, perfect fifth. The minor third sounds like the beginning of green sleeves. The major third sounds like the beginning of oh, when the saints. The perfect fifth is a really wide sound. There's a lot of space in there. It sounds like the beginning of the Star Wars theme. All right, so let's play a few examples. Determine the interval, major third, minor third, or perfect fifth. Second interval. Third interval. Fourth interval. Then number five, again, interval, which one is it? Major third, minor third, or perfect fifth. All right, so I will let you practice these, and I will see you soon. Take care.